<clears throat> oh, Shio. I just said I would respond to your message before I hit off to the old sack. You know, basically, the reason why most of them think it's really cool to insult and to attack religious people, uh, especially Christians. Well, well, let's say, uh, just for instance, we'll just give for example, atheists. Well, and there's other groups out there, as you well know, but they rely on intelligence, their education and all that kind of stuff. It's like, I guess you can say, the best way to say it, it it's their, um, it's what I call, uh, atheist intelligent uh, bashing you know you take a person you know um, you know they just been went to college and they learned a whole bunch of neat stuff and so they're wanting to show out and all this it's, it's kind of like that I mean that's one way to think about it they just go out and they uh, love bashing uh, people and they they love talking above one's head and they uh, and they try to insult people you know when someone's being respectful to them they'll go and talk down low to 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 somebody who <laughs> you know is isn't on their intellectual level as they would like to think of it and I think that their education makes them look bigger and smarter and so but what you have uh, it doesn't matter in their uh, education or how highly educated they are it does not matter what this what it does come up to and boil down to is you just have bullies bullies though have been around since so forever Oh yeah, uh, some uh, they've been out with, they existed, some had intelligence, if you could call it that, and then there was some who just did not have none, always by brute force, force, in any form of way, uh, it's, you know, hey, whether it's brought at you verbally through their intellect, or by physical or if they could uh, verbally abuse you with filthy mouth words usually terrorists uh, use love and filthy mouth words and uh, others just like to let's talk about how the how the aura of the triangle and the the light and the angle of the right triangle has to do with you know and it goes on and on and on you know and it's kind of like you you left your head you know you're sitting there scratching you're like okay where is this getting but the thing is uh, if you're a Christian right now my advice opinion or thoughts on this can be thrown out the window or taking the heart depends on you if you really are a professing Christian thing is with these people you're better not arguing with them it's one thing yes to witness to people but if the people don't really want to hear it then you're wasting your time okay when but you got to put forth the effort of the message and if they don't want to hear the message then you've done your duty and then you pray for them and, and, and love them and care for them even when it's so hard to do so you got to and you should want to do so this is just a little advice you got to remember these guys just don't believe but you gotta still try to reach them. You gotta present it to them. 
and let them decide if they want it or not. Don't try to shove it down their throat. Just present it to them, you know. And if they want to mock, let them mock. But they have to answer for what they do. We have to answer for what we do. So, that's a good suggestion, all right? You know? And, and yeah, you know, they can get quite aggravating, but you have to understand, you know, you gotta love them and want to love them and, and, and don't be... See, a lot of them, they do what they do to get a reaction out of you. They, you know, if, if sometimes if you'd read some of their uh, profiles, uh, a lot of them, they, they more or less admit they just love to argue. They, it's like they live for it. So, you need to think about when you talk to them, tell them about Christ and about salvation. That what Jesus did for them. Because see, once God does get a hold of them, they can see the truth. But until then, they can't. But you have to try to reach them and pray for them. Best solution to the problem. Oh yeah. A lot of bullies out there. So what we need to do is pray for them that the blood of Jesus can just wash them clean. So God bless you. And Shalom and Ha Hope.